start again introducing our colleague uh, Christophe Roche. He will be talking about Mike. Somebody wants to say, oh, where is Michael? Actually, Michael is not the best. <laughs> Michael is the name. Is the name of something. Michael is the name. Yes, yes. So, multilingual inventory of cultural heritage in Europe. So this is a creation of a portal. A portal means, well, what is a portal, by the way? Some people misunderstand the word portal. Portal is not a website, it's just a dynamic website, technically speaking. A portal is much more than this. So a portal is a, a range. It can be a search engine or a huge information system that is online that we can call it portal. So I think here it refers to something, a huge information system online with a search engine uh, uh, functionality. So uh, it's actually it's a very interesting project and this is a uh, 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 the result or uh, also a uh, European project, if we see the project or uh, no, not the another program. Uh, ETEM. Ah, okay. It's uh, the ETEM uh, program. And Michael is actually an association now, legally speaking, so it's a, like an NGO or something, uh, not for good organization. So uh, Christoph will be presenting. Michael, uh, please try to highlight, because we are going to use and extend Michael in, in Sierra Club. So, I mean, it's time to also a little bit discuss or show where we can extend uh, Michael. Thank you very much. But uh, you did my talk. <laughs> uh, because, I, uh, in fact, I'm here on behalf of uh, Marie-Véronique Leroy. As you can see, I'm not. Uh, she's sorry, but uh, uh, she, she wasn't able to be here because there is in Poland uh, a linked heritage FP7 uh, meeting the same day than today in Barcelona. So uh, she, she had to choose, and, uh, and as she is a uh, work package leader, she was obliged. To, to be present in Barcelona. Uh, I'm going to, uh, to speak very little about Michael because, uh, in fact, I, I'm going to, to read some slides. Uh, I don't know very well this, this um, uh, association. Except that uh, it's also uh, a partner of the Lit Heritage uh, project. So we work together mainly on Tezos and multilingual tesos. So I can perhaps say a few words about the problem of multilingual te tesori alignment. Uh, FPC pro project because this Michael is strongly connected to to elite heritage. It's as I said uh, this morning, where I was too long, perhaps now too short. Uh, it's a very, very big project, 38 partners and 20 countries. Uh, the, the main goal of uh, this uh, European project is, like uh, Sierra, Sierra, is to, to connect uh, e-contents. Uh, and uh, now, in the continuation of Europeana, perhaps you, you know Europeana, is to extend the content providers to uh, different uh, institutions, not only museums now. Well, uh, the, the main goal of uh, uh, Michael is to, to set up uh, a multilingual Tesos uh, for cultural heritage. This uh, project uh, start, has started in two, 2004 um, in the framework of a European project, ETEN program, with uh, mainly three partners France, Italy, and uh, United Kingdom. Um, France and Italy are two, two important partners, and uh, they are the, the two cornerstones. Uh, um, in, in this project. Uh, now it, uh, it includes uh, uh, near 20 countries uh, and, and uh, Palestine, I hope, uh, soon. Well, uh, since uh, 2007, is an association under the Belgian law uh, whose tax um, 
out to maintain the, the portal and in charge of the sustainability of the of this portal. Uh, also to 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 coordinate the different contents and the different metadata about this content. Um, as I said previously, we have different uh, uh, national institutions, and in France, mainly the French Ministry of Culture, which is uh, strongly involved in this uh, association. Uh, and of course, also to, uh, to maintain the, uh, the different software and uh, following an open account. Uh, uh, initiatives. Uh, about the contents, uh, today uh, um, there are more than 10,000 of, uh, uh, of uh, digital uh, collections for more than 5,000 institutions, including uh, museums and uh, different content providers. If you want to, to have a look about uh, the, the collections uh, uh, according to their subjects, the most important uh, field is about culture, it's uh, good news, but also about art and or soft science and, and so on. If we uh, see more details, uh, the cultural uh, content, we can see that uh, history and uh, visual art are the two main uh, fields in, the, in this uh, uh, content. Uh, of my uh, about the period, the periods, it's mainly modern age. Uh, so uh, I'm quite finished. Um, just have a look about uh, the portal. Uh, the website is the following: we can use it for the different European languages, and uh, the best way to to understand how it runs. Is to, is to use it. Uh, I'm sorry not to, to say more about uh, this, uh, this, this system. I'm not my my one, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nevertheless, I can. Just uh, the link between uh, Michael and uh, Sierra, it's about multilingual thesory. The, the main goal, uh, I think, in Sierra is to use the, the contents uh, and also the, the thesory, thesaurus of uh, Michael. Questions? Uh, some people were like shy, but actually they prepared questions. Is there a specification for the anthology based on uh, your work? Uh, in, uh, in the case of uh, Michael, in fact, it's a classical thesaurus. Uh, but uh, as you have to take into account the multilingual approach, I think you are introducing uh, ontology, uh, especially to, to associate to each descriptor a more formal uh, meaning in terms of concepts. Yes, the, the main idea is to uh, the main problem is quite similar in, in Sierra uh, and the linked heritage and Michael's is how we can share some knowledge and how could, uh, can we access uh, this, uh, this uh, e contents using, using multilingual tissues. Other questions? William? <laughs> I would like to ask that. What do you mean with multilingual ontology? Ah, I don't like this word, in fact, <laughs> multilingual ontology. Uh, because according to me, ontology uh, uh, is not a concern of linguistics. It's more a problem of conceptualization and knowledge representation. It, in fact, here is more, it's more a multilingual uh, thesaurus. Uh, as I said this morning, uh, if you separate clearly the linguistic dimensions from the conceptual uh, one, uh, multilingual is about the linguistic dimension. So it's uh, uh, to, to ask ourselves, well, how can we, we access using different languages to a 
the same concept or some similar concept. So, meeting in one or two years. Other questions? So, can I ask? Uh, oh, of course, for example. So, actually, uh, so my kid is, is a board that supports about 25 languages, something like yes. this. Yes. Now, is it like, is this the multilingual is also in sound, right? Yes. So, if we want now to, do, to come to, the, uh, to add Arabic, yes. it means that we need to extend the thesaurus, the information. <laughs> Let's say, I mean, the, 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 when, when you say it, there is also like schemas and a lot of techniques that we also need to, to do to support Arabic, right? But, uh, in, in fact, we have to uh, perhaps to say to, to different purposes, especially uh, uh, to, to have the same thesaurus with uh, different, different labels in different languages we are not sure if it works. So, uh, uh, the reason why somebody uh, speak about uh, multilingual uh, thesaurus alignment uh, and in order to align these different thesaurus, perhaps you use uh, common ontology, I'm not sure it, it works also, but also perhaps uh, alignment of ontologies. So, uh, in, in the case of... Uh, so, so what, what we should do in order to, uh, in order to enable two things? in order to enable the Arabic language and in order to enable the Arabic content. I mean, uh, uh, we have a lot of cultural heritage objects, it's, it's called in Palestine. Now, if we want to link or provide this content into the border, what we should do and where, where are the challenges? Uh, I, I think it is a, the first problem is perhaps to digitalize them, but uh, it, it's not in the framework, I don't think it's, the, it's in the framework of Sierra. Uh, I don't know if there is a task for that. We, we need to do that. Uh, uh, yes, uh, we need to do that, first of all, yes. And after that, uh, try to, to, uh, to describe from a more conceptual point of view the different dot fits, and of course, to introduce uh, the linguistic way of speaking in this field. Is there is linking, sorry, the last question. Is there is linking, for example, there is a museum in France and there is a library in Poland. Yes. And both are yes. uh, participating in Sierra. Mm. Is there is a linking between a certain uh, object mm. in this museum with a certain object in that library? I mean, for example, let's say, uh, I mean, what I, what I mean is like, for example, there is uh, an event that happened in Poland. So Poland have some pictures about it. And now there is also something that the Louvre Museum have about the same event, yes. something inside. Is there is a linking between that event or that object and that picture? Yes, not a direct link. Yeah. In fact, uh, in this case, uh, each uh, content, provide, uh, content provider uses its own uh, thesaurus, and so we align this different uh, thesaurus. Uh, it's, it works like that. Like is it open source, by the way? Uh, in the case of linked heritage, uh, yes, uh, it's open source, so it's good things. Uh, about Michael, I think, uh, maybe, yes, I think, yeah, it's yes. Yeah. The, the main idea is to share, so. Okay. And it's a, not for the Okay, thank you very much.